Bonjour! I'm sure that you are familiar with this setup now and you know that today is depotting time! In my previous video, I was showing you all of the things that I bought to restock my kit before the very busy season starts and now it's finally time to depot all of them and to add them to my makeup bag. There is all different types of products. There is some powder products, some creamy eyeshadows. I want to downsize a bunch of lashes as well and I'm entirely going to redo the way that I have my foundation set up because I don't like it anymore and I want to try something else so that's going to be a big chunk of today's session. Don't forget to follow my channel if you like makeup artist content and let's jump right into it. I'm gonna be starting as always by sanitizing all of the tools and containers that I'm gonna be using today and for that I'm just gonna be using some 70% alcohol. magnetic palette that I used to use for cream foundation but it's now empty so I'm going to give it a good clean sanitize it and I'm going to reuse it for eye product and brow products And I'm going to depot my Senna brow book, which is just some powders for the brows. And it's a product that I really love and that I use all the time. But as you can see the packaging, like it's kind of fading now and it doesn't look very clean and neat. So I'd rather just depot it in one of these magnetic palettes. That shouldn't be too hard because this palette is magnetic. So the pans come right out when I'm just lifting them with a spatula. And in that palette, I'm also going to depot some cream eyeshadows. It's the one from Charlotte Tilbury that I previously depotted in a different container, but it didn't really work for me. I thought that after a couple of months, the product became kind of dry and it was a lot harder to blend and it was not as nice to use. I think they need to be put in a container that can be sealed. That's why I got this little clam containers from Mayo Cosmetics. I've been wanting to buy them for so long, but they are not cheap. I'm sure you can find some dupes on Amazon, but these ones are the official ones. And I'm not going to depot too much product this time, just to avoid them drying up again. And I use these two products all the time on most of my makeup applications so I thought that having them in the same palette would help me to work in a faster way. And for these clam containers it's actually one piece like the lid doesn't come off so I thought it would be maybe easier to use than having a container where the lid completely comes off and sometimes get lost on your makeup table. I guess we'll see when I start using them I'll give you updates on that. I also have these two products to depot. I have this blush from Essence that I bought recently for powder products that are in a plastic packaging like this one there is like you have to try different techniques to see which one works best sometimes you can just melt the glue that's at the bottom sometimes you have to melt the packaging to kind of bend it and get the pan out it really depends on how the packaging is built and for powder products it can be a bit tricky because they are quite fragile like if you bend the pan they can break very easily and because to melt the packaging or the glue you have to use heat so you can use either a hair straightener you can use an induction board I saw some people doing it on their stove as well so you have to be really really careful to not burn yourself depotting can be quite dangerous when I'm observing this one it looks like it's actually pretty stuck in there like I cannot bend the packaging because it's too thick so I do think that I'm gonna have to make the back a bit softer to be able to bend the plastic and hopefully melt it a little and what worries me is that there's barely any room around here to put my spatula in so that's probably going to be a little tricky so what I'm going to do is a very homemade DIY technique again be very careful to not burn yourself but I'm gonna be using my hair straightener 
place a piece of parchment paper and then I'm going to put the product right here to be able to melt the glue at the back and I'm just going to wait for a couple minutes to see how that goes so it's been a couple minutes now let's see if it bends no it doesn't seem like it's it's moving at all and it's quite hot now oh uh, maybe maybe I can feel that the back is getting a little softer so I'm going to try to push it with my spatula I can see that it came out a tiny bit so I'm just going to repeat that multiple times until it's completely out and I can pop it out see how the plastic is getting released oh there you go <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be that simple to be honest great now that the product is out I can see that there was only three little dots of glue so I guess that's why it was pretty easy to melt and I'm also going to depot this duet balm from Dennis and Marix just because the packaging is a little bit too big to be put in my kit like that that should be pretty straightforward I'm just gonna scoop the product out with my spatula and press it into a container I have a bunch of lashes that I need to organize and depot into one of these Viewset taxi palettes. I'm going to pick five different types of lashes that are popular with my clients. I'm just going to cut the packaging off and then I'm going to organize them from the ones that are the most natural to the ones that have a fuller volume. I am so happy with the way it looks. It's actually my first time depotting lashes like that. And it's crazy how many pairs fit in there and it looks super clean and organized. I really, really like it. When you get lashes in bulk, they often come with a little sticker that indicates the reference. So I make sure to keep it and to organize them properly, especially when it's for wedding previews. So I can make sure that I use the exact same lash on their wedding day. I'm going to be depotting this L halo glow liquid filter the packaging is just incredibly heavy so I'm really happy to be able to depot them now I'm going to be depotting them into these 20 milliliters bottles that I found on Amazon it seems to me like they are dupes for the ones from kit pack I could be wrong because I've actually never tried them but they both have this needle tip and inside of the cap there's actually a little pointy thing that goes inside of the needle tip so you can be sure that there's not going to be any products leaking in your kit especially because I want to put them upside down in my kit so I can see the shade number on the bottom right away so I have to make sure that it's a container that's safe and that my foundation is not going to explode everywhere in my makeup bag when I'm depotting a new product, I'm always trying to see what way would be the easiest for me. For example, on this product, I think I can take this little piece of rubber off. And these bottles actually came with this mini funnel, so I'm gonna try to use that. It looks like it's working. It's probably gonna take a little while to fill it all the way up, but that's fine. Weirdly, this one, shade number five, seems to have a different consistency. It seems to be a bit thicker because it's actually not really going through. So I'm gonna try to depot it with this little pipette instead. I don't think it's working either because it's very, very thick and sticky. So I guess I'm just gonna have to take the slow way. That's a dangerous story, but I'm hoping that could work. I'm gonna try to squeeze out the air as much as possible so it kind of create a, a suction and then pour it very, very slowly. That requires a lot of coordination and patience. It looks like it's working that way if I'm pouring it really slowly and steadily. 
took me almost 15 minutes to fill that bottle up and it's not even all the way to the top but that's it <laughs> I'm done and that's gonna be more than enough product anyways so I just close it with a little needle tip and then let's see how that comes out yeah yeah that's what I that's exactly what I was looking for and finally the most fun part I'm going to be reorganizing all of my foundations. I previously potted them into these five milliliters bottles, but now that I'm getting busier and I'm getting more clients, I feel like I should upgrade these containers for 20 milliliters, just so I don't have to refill them as often. This is a fresh batch from Face Atelier that I just received. So I'm always giving them a good shake before depotting them. The Face Atelier foundation is 20 milliliters and my bottles as well, so it should work perfectly. There's still a little bit left, but pretty much the entire bottle can fit in there. Now I'm also going to depot the other foundation I have in my kit, which is Dior Backstage. These ones are very liquidy as well, so it's just going to be the exact same process. So I'm actually having an issue with the last bottles, weirdly, like there's something wrong with the cap. So basically this little piece of plastic is supposed to be inside of the cap, so I'm going to push it all the way. And then when I'm putting it on the bottle, it's fine, but then when I'm trying to unscrew it, it just the top just doesn't come off. And if I'm pulling too hard, the plastic piece like just comes out. So there's definitely something wrong with these bottles. The other ones seem to be fine. I hope that's the case because I just spent so much time depotting everything. So I don't want to redo it anytime soon. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is to put some sort of crazy glue or really strong glue in the cap and then push this little piece all the way to the back and hopefully that should hold. The black top is only for aesthetics anyways, like the bottle is fully functional with this top only, like it's it's fully sealed. Oh, there you go. I guess we can see that it, it is fully sealed. Um, the product would not leak, it's not gonna come out. I guess it would just make it a little bit harder to open because there's no like real grip on this top, but I think I can still use it in the meantime and and try to find a solution to make it work. That's very disappointing though. So if you were interested in getting these bottles, just go with the original ones, the one from Kit Pack. I'll put the link in the description box. They are a little bit more expensive, but I don't think they would have this problem. Okay, so now that everything is finally depotted, it's now time to play a bit of Tetris and to see how I'm gonna fit everything into this bag. First of all, I'm going to get rid of these two cases that had my other foundation bottles that I don't need anymore. So you can see that now the new ones are a lot bigger. And to organize these foundation bottles, I actually bought these dividers from Kit Pack. Initially, they are sold to be put inside of the clear pouches that they have just to hold the foundation bottles. But I thought that maybe I could make them fit into my bag. I'm going to move all of that just for now, trying to see how I can make it work. Let's see, if I put one here, and then the foundation bottles like that. I think that could work. Okay, so far it looks like it's fitting really, really well. Like the dividers don't move at all because of the foam that's holding it on both sides. That's so frustrating. I'm only missing one spot for the last bottle. Oh. So I just realized right now that these liquid lipsticks actually fit 
perfectly in here which makes me really really happy and I'm going to place on this row the Halo Glow from e.l.f. because it's kind of a separate category from the regular foundations that I use oh my gosh that would have been so perfect oh, oh almost almost does that work does that actually work this is the kind of thing that brings me so much joy this is great love it i would love to find a spot for these lashes as well that would be really great okay so now i have these four cases that i'm hoping to put in here my cream blushes my pressed powder palette and a couple just hand palettes now it's just a matter of finding the best way to organize them i think i'm going to be able to get rid of this case actually because it mostly has the charlotte tilbury products that i previously departed so i don't really need the other things like got to be i never really use it paint pot i mean this one is dry i've probably used it like a couple of times so i don't need to have it in my kit and this lip gloss i can just put it in a different case so let's get rid of this one and this one is the loose powder from laura mercier in dark so i'm actually gonna put it here just for now i might transfer it into one of these bigger bottles later but instead it's giving me a spot to put the lip gloss in here this one fits in here but it's a little tight so i i don't know if it's a good idea to put it here like i would need to get rid of this too maybe yeah like that it works i'm only going to keep one of these palettes because i recently bought a new one that's a lot bigger anyway so i'm gonna keep only one small here so it fits i'm not fully satisfied of the way it looks in here i think the solution is that i have to get rid of one of these cases as well so let's see what i can actually get rid of i'm gonna take out this gold liquid highlighter because i don't use it enough to justify having it in my condensed kit i'm gonna keep that one this i have to keep and then for the primers i actually have a couple here of the full size ones because they don't depot really well so i'm keeping them in their original packaging i actually don't even use primers a lot so i don't think i need to have all of that like i can definitely condense it i'm keeping that lip gloss the strobe cream i'm gonna keep it as well the hydrating professional i don't think i need it because i have the original version here so i think that's good enough like i don't even see what's the real difference between the hydrating one and the original one nyx high glass i mean it's a pretty good highlighter but that one from charlotte tilbury is even more beautiful so i think if i have that one i don't need to have that one as well the makeup forever green primer i like to have a green primer i don't use it very often but when you have a client that's very very red it really really helps i think so i'm gonna try to keep it makeup forever hydra boost primer i like to have it with me as well just for the rare occasions where i really need it usually skincare is good enough but you never know so let's see if i can make it fit professional as i said i have the full size so that's fine and this one is the rcma loose powder so i'm just gonna put it here next to the laura mercier loose powder and that's gonna be my next departing project there you go i think i got rid of that case i'm gonna have to get rid of one more product because really it doesn't fit so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to take out this lip balm from birds bees i like it but i most of the time use the lip mask when it's for females and then for men i have this matte lip balm so i don't think i need both so i'm gonna put this one aside for now the last move that i can make is to move this eye makeup remover with the rest of my liquid products here like that's where i keep my toner my setting spray so i guess there's a little spot for it and there you go my complexion case is full as well so that's good and now i have a little spot here for my lashes 
and for my cream blushes that should fit right next to it. The Duet Balm from Danessa Marix that we just depotted, I'm just going to throw it in here because I don't use it a lot, so that's fine. I know it's here for when I need it. So I actually got rid of quite a lot of products, but I'm not feeling too bad about it because I was not really using them a lot. I'm gonna keep them aside for now. And if on my next job, I'm realizing that I'm really missing one of these products, I'll just try to find a way to add it back in here, but I think I should be fine. And for these two palettes, I just put them directly into my suitcase. All right, so that's it for today's depotting session. It was a lot. I think I should have split it in two different sessions, but at least everything is done. I've been filming for the past seven hours now, so I truly hope that you enjoy watching this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. <laughs> I need to go stretch my body now and play with this poor Gibson that has been waiting for me all day long. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way here. I'll put another one here for you if you want to see more makeup artist content. Take good care of yourself and I will see you soon. Bisous!